Welcome back. And um, immediately we must look at the share with the name of Naspers. I mean, I had many requests asking about Naspers. Um, I don't know if you can remember, but Naspers was one of the biggest counters in the South African market. It's it's lying now on third place. The big one now is, of course, um, Richmond, and then Anglo, sorry, I think it's in fourth place, and then Billiton, and only then Naspers. So um, this counter really surprised a lot of viewers, but the big move was actually from May. And that was at 1,457 Rand and 41 cents. It really took off. But what makes me a little bit worry, can you remember in November, the share had this ugly sell-off and read, there's the 40-week moving average. And then the Chinese government said that they are not happy with the tech, uh, techno giants. And they believe that they want to, to check them closely and analyze them and audit them. And what happened, it only came out now the other day, when the share was under pressure like this, the Chinese government actually took a stake in Tencent. And um, the moment the market knew about that or heard about it, what happened? The share rallied from 1,755 rand all the way to 3,300 where it's now. So I don't think that's much ethical to, uh, for a government to actually um, chat or speak a share down or run it down um, with all different regulations and, and tell the world that something is wrong. And then on that news, they go and they actually buy it. I was surprised when I, I read it on, on, on the news. I hope it's fake news, but I doubt it because um, it was quite uh, a uh, source that actually came out of the news. So um, we hope that this is not the new tendency in the world because then that will make markets almost... Um, an insider trading box for governments. But I mean, look at this beautiful rally. And um, this person asked me the last one, how far can the share go? And the moment I use this support line, it tells you, look at the, the gradient of this. It's a steep, 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 steep rally. And this is on a weekly chart. This is not on a daily chart. And usually what you see like this, I say it's a lamp pole formation and it can easily surprise us to the downside. Well, where's my first sign of weakness? And remember, this is on a weekly chart. I'll use that old support. And there's the support. Let's just draw it in for you. And the reason why I'm saying that, look at this piece here. We can actually zoom it out a little bit. This piece previously was acting as a very good support and resistance area. So now I know if it breaks below that line there, there's the line, if it breaks below 3,208 Rand and 73 cents, we can easily see that this lample formation turns out to trigger some selling. And where can it go to? It can definitely go to, let's find that levels, it can go to 2,974, uh, there you are, 2,800, 25 rand, 2,756, and maybe all the way back to that 40-week moving average sitting at 2,327 rand and 35 cents. Well, if you want to buy the share now, I think you may be too late. Um, you need to wait for it so that it can pull back a little bit, and maybe then we can add in again. But I think at the point where we are now, it's maybe time to lock in some profit. Well, let's have a look at Omnia. Um, I know some farmers are very worried about the, the crops and they're not worried about the crops because there's not enough rain. Remember, there's a lot of big irrigation farmers in South Africa and they are worried about the load shedding issue because they cannot um, water the crops at the right time. Now, if we look at Omnia here, um, what worries me first of all is that I'm seeing an ugly head and shoulder formation. And look at that. Um, first of all, it consolidates below the 40-week moving average. Remember, this is a weekly chart. So it consolidates below the 40-week moving average, which make it a, a chart that fundamental analysts, the, the big fund managers, will probably do not look at the chart. Reason being, they always prefer a chart that breaks above the 40-week moving average, and then they will buy the stock or hold onto the stock all the way until it breaks. But what do we see here? We see a head and shoulder formation. There's the left shoulder. There's the beautiful head. 
and we're looking at the right shoulder here. It's quite a, a big right shoulder. And the big thing for me to watch is this neckline. This neckline sits at 6,061 uh, rand and 45 cents. If that resistance line or this support line turns out to become a resistance line, we can easily see that this wonderful company, Omnia, that does some good money, uh, make some good money. And remember, they are beautiful rand edge as well. They can maybe come under pressure and that will make me a little bit nervous. So where's that level? It's 61.30. And where can the share go to? Um, first going to give you the conservative target. There's the, the full target if it plays out. The conservative target if it reached to the downside but remember it must get below the neckline it can easily go down to 51 rand and 92 cents that's the conservative target and then if it reached the full target of this head and shoulder it can maybe go down all the way look at that to 37 rand 45 cents but of course, there's always investors that say that the share will offer some value and where can they buy it? And it's quite simple. If you want to buy it, you wait for, let's use that line, this head and shoulder formation, you wait for this right shoulder to, to become obsolete and then you can buy it there because then you say, well, the share did take a breather and there's the level 73 rand and 79 cents above 73 79 you can actually go a little bit higher again and by then this 40 week moving average would have turned into a support and then it will be positive for some of the fundamental guys that like the chart well for me it's there's just one thing and um, while the local market is performing so well we've got a lot of investors that actually believe that the local market will always go back and make a new eye. And it's also an assumption that if you just buy the market and you hold long enough, you will never go wrong. Well, this year the S&P 500 showed us that yes, you did buy it maybe earlier in the year and it turned out to be a negative year for the S&P. Maybe it will be different this year, but always remember that markets can surprise you. And it's not a case that markets always go up they sometimes come under pressure. And remember, with this inflation worldwide, we know that commodities are high, but if this inflation stays high, the Federal Reserve has to increase interest rates and eventually that will put a damping on effect on the markets. Why? Because you can maybe make more money in the bank than on the market. Well, let's look at the old favorite, the gold mining stock, Durban Rodeport Deep. I mean, it's one of the favorites of the gold mining sector. And yes, we showed you previously on the show, and remember this is the weekly chart. Can you remember this um, falling wedge scenario that we gave you? It broke above at 10 rand 75 cents. It had a beautiful rally. In actual fact, it, it went all the way up. It reached more than its target. So if you want to buy it now, I think you may be a little late. There's the 40 week moving average um, sitting at 11 rand 24. It went all the way to 14.43. And um, the big thing, there's the support line or the trend line. This trend is telling you it's a solid trend to the upside. It is positive. So for me personally, I will say, let's maybe wait for this line to be tested again. And then if you want to buy it close to this line, maybe use a stop loss of 11 rand and 59 cents to protect your capital. But for me personally, if I look at this chart, beautiful rally from the lows of around 887. Um, it, it was shown on the program before. We showed that falling wedge. And for me personally, I think it had a beautiful rally and um, it's maybe now a little bit too late, but some viewers will say France, but look at the break of this long-term um, support line it turned it after a long-term resistance line it turned it now into a support line so for them if they do have the stock above 1389 they will probably just hold on to the stock well let's have a look at Sassel can you remember this is the company that almost went under well the company um, is doing okay but I can also see here we warned previously 
um, about a, a, a rising wedge. Look at that. There you are. Um, oh, yes, it was quite clear. The share did got under pressure. It's turning around now. So let's see if we can find a place where some viewers can maybe dabble back into the share. And remember, this is a weekly chart once again. And the reason why I'm using weekly charts this week is because our market performed so well. I don't want to get the noise of the market on a daily chart. So let's have a look here. There's the a falling wedge here. That was a beautiful rising um, wedge. And it now we've got a falling wedge. It broke above this at 272.92. It's trading now at around 290. So yes, you can still buy it if you believe that it can uh, give us a bounce back all the way to this 40 week moving average. But I will do something. I will play safe here. Because remember the commodity stocks had a massive rally. And if Anglo and Billiton and some of those big counters start to pull back, you can easily see that even a company like Cecil can maybe come back and, and maybe give you a surprise to the downside. But if you do buy it, make use of a stop loss of 263.52 cents. Uh, just to protect capital. But for me, as a long-term investor, for some guys that I do anal analysis for, um, while it's below this 40-week moving average, there you are. The 40-week moving average is sitting at 332 rand and 46. And unfortunately, while it is below that, it means that the long-term view of the share is negative. And look what happened previously when it broke below that. We saw an ugly, for quite a long time, it remained below that. So just be a little bit careful so that you don't fall into the trap and maybe trade it for with a long-term perspective. Use it as a short-term balance and lock in your profits. Thank you for watching the show and visit our website www.franceclair.com for more info and we'll chat again.